La 7338e séance du Conseil de sécurité est ouverte. L'ordre du jour provisoire de la présente séance est la situation en Afghanistan. L'ordre du jour est adopté. Conformément à l'article 37 du règlement intérieur provisoire du Conseil, j'invite le représentant de l'Afghanistan à participer à la présente séance. Il en est ainsi décidé. Le Conseil de sécurité va maintenant aborder l'examen du point 2 de l'ordre du jour. Les membres du Conseil sont saisis du texte d'un projet de résolution publié sous la cote S bar 2014 bar 883 présenté par l'Australie. Je crois savoir que le Conseil est prêt à procéder au vote sur le projet de résolution dont il est saisi. Je vais maintenant mettre le projet de résolution aux voix. Que ceux qui sont en faveur du projet de résolution publié sous la cote S bar 2014 bar 883 lève la main. Le résultat du, du vote est le suivant. Le projet de résolution a recueilli 15 voix pour. Le projet de résolution est adopté à l'unanimité en tant que résolution 2189-2014. Je donne maintenant la parole aux représentants de l'Afghanistan. Thank you, Mr. President. At the outset, I would like to thank the Republic of Chad for its leadership of the Council this month. I would like to thank uh, Council members for the adoption of this resolution, which is, a vital, which is of uh, vital importance to ongoing stabilization efforts in the future of Afghanistan. To Ambassador Quinlan and his uh, team at the Permanent Mission of Australia, thank you for your hard work and enabled facilitation of this resolution and dedication as Afghanistan's penholder. Mr. President, the resolution is adopted as the International Security Assistance Force, says ISAF mission, ends in a new phase in Afghanistan's history begins. In just 19 days, Afghan National Defense and Security Forces, ANDSF, will assume full responsibility for the security of the country as the transition process comes to a close on December 31st of this year. The adoption of this resolution is a clear indication of the continuing support of the Council and the international community for the efforts of the Afghan people and the government of Afghanistan to bring peace, stability, democracy and prosperity to the country throughout the transformation decade. At this uh, crucial juncture in our history, this resolution signifies the necessity of enduring and long-term support for Afghanistan. As the transformation decades, decade begins, <clears throat> we are uh, grateful to our NATO and international partners for their commitment to train, advise, and assist the ANDSF after the completion of the ISAF mission. No doubt there are challenges ahead. Al-Qaeda and the Taliban continue to launch brutal terror attacks. Just yesterday, a suicide bomber attacked a French school in Kabul, killing civilians and injuring 15. A few weeks ago, a suicide bomber attacked a crowd watching a volleyball match in Paktika province, killing over 50 people and wounding more than 60 others. These are but a few examples of a series of horrific attacks on civilians in Kabul and around the country. In the face of these challenges, the new president and the National Unity Government of Afghanistan look forward to strengthening cooperation with our NATO, regional, and international partners. We understand that peace and stability cannot be achieved through security measures alone, and to this end, the Government of Afghanistan is embarking upon an ambitious reform agenda 
aimed at bringing peace and prosperity to the country. I would like to take this opportunity to express the government of Afghanistan's profound gratitude to the NATO and partner countries and their international forces who have sacrificed uh, their blood and treasure to support Afghanistan in its fight to advance peace and security in the country. With the ongoing support of our international partners, including through the Resolute Support Mission and the vigorous work of the new government of Afghanistan, their efforts will not have been in vain. I thank you, Mr. President. Je remercie le représentant de l'Afghanistan pour sa déclaration. Le Conseil de sécurité a ainsi achevé la phase actuelle de l'examen de la question inscrite à l'ordre du jour. La séance est levée.